Mary Beaton Mary Beaton, 1543-1598, was a Scottish noblewoman and an attendant of Mary, Queen of Scots. She and three other ladies-in-waiting Mary Livingston, Mary Fleming and Mary Seton, were collectively known as the Four Marys. Family Mary was born in 1543, the third of five children of Robert Beaton, fourth Laird of Crike, and Joanna or Jane Renwall. Mary's mother was one of Marie de Guise's ladies-in-waiting. She died in June 1577 at Dunbog in Fife. Mary's Aunt Janet Beacon was a mistress of James Hepburn, Earl of Bothwell, who would in 1567 become the third husband of Queen Mary. In 1548, at the age of five, Mary Beaton was chosen by Marie de Guise to accompany her daughter Mary, Queen of Scots, to France. She, along with three other girls who also accompanied the Queen, became known as the Four Marys. In June 1563, Mary Beaton wrote to and care, Lady Throckmorton, the wife of the English diplomat Nicholas Throckmorton, thanking her for the present of a ring brought to her in Edinburgh by Captain Tremaine. Mary sent her ring to Lady Throckmorton in return. She signed this letter Marie de Bethune. Black velvet gowns were made for Mary Beaton and Lady Livingstone in February 1564 by the Queen's tailor Jehan de Compigny. Marriage <laughs> Marriage Marriage Mary, described as having been pretty and plump, with fair hair and dark eyes, attracted the attentions of an older man, Thomas Randolph. At the time of the courtship, in 1564, Randolph was 45 and Mary was 21. Randolph was Queen Elizabeth's ambassador to the Scottish court and wanted Mary Beaton to spy on her mistress for him, which she refused to do. In April 1565, Mary Beaton and Randolph teamed up to play bowls with the Queen and Lord Darnley at Stirling Castle. They won, and Darnley gave Beaton a ring and a brooch with two agates worth fifty crowns. One of Randolph's Scottish contacts, Alexander Clark, sent him a letter teasing him about their relationship in a joke using nonsense words. And as to your mistress Marie Baton, she is both Darimpus and Sclenbrunet, and you in like manner without contrabaction or kiltaparant, so you are both worth little money. George Buchanan wrote Latin verses praising. Mary Beaton eventually married Alexander Ogilvy of Boyne in April 1566. They had one son, James, born in 1568. In June 1566, she was with Mary, Queen of Scots, in Edinburgh Castle, when she gave birth to Prince James, later James V.I. Beaton told Sir James Melville of Hal Hill, who rode to London with the news. After the execution of Queen Mary, it was claimed by the writer Adam Blackwood in 1587 that Mary Beaton's handwriting was similar to the Queen's and so some of her private letters might have formed the basis for the casket letters produced to incriminate Queen Mary. In May 1590, she greeted the new Queen of Scotland, Anne of Denmark, at the shore of Leith, with the Countess of Mar, Lady Seton, Lady Thurlistane, and Lady Dudhope and thirty other gentlewomen. Mary, Queen of Scots, made a will leaving her books to Beaton, who had literary interests, but she probably never received the Queen's library. She gave a copy of the comedies of Terence in Latin and French to James V.I. Later, she became a friend of the poet William Fowler, who served as secretary to Anne of Denmark. He dedicated a translation from Ariosto to the right honorable Lady Mary Batown Lady Boyne. She wrote a poem to preface his translation of the Triumphs of Petrarch. She died in 1598 at the age of 55. In popular culture, in the 2013 Minus 17 CW television series Rain, the character, Lady Greer, played by Selina Sindon, is loosely based on Mary Beaton. In the 2018 film Mary, Queen of Scots, Mary Beaton is played by Northern Irish actress Eileen O'Higgins. Resources St. Andrews, Noble Order of Royal Scots, Antonia Fraser Mary, Queen of Scots, Dell Publishing Company, Inc. New York, March 1971, 
71 equals equals references equals equals equals